everyone, welcome to the CD Cave, I'm Jack Burial. Today I'm back with another CD haul, uh, so I hope you stick around for that. I have uh, two from eBay to open. Um, I have uh, a few from uh, my local thrift store, Goodwill, things like that. Uh, and I also have another vinyl today, uh, so I'm pretty happy about finding vinyl. Uh, like I said before in other videos, I don't buy vinyl off eBay or um, Amazon. I don't usually buy it new, I always buy it used. So uh, it limits my vinyl finds to uh, yard sales, thrift stores, things like that. <clears throat> so uh, I'm pretty happy when I do find vinyl that's in good shape at a good price. And uh, so I hope you stick around for the video. Uh, if you're new here to my channel, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and leave a comment down below. I enjoy reading the comments. And uh, thank you for all the uh, new subscribers. Uh, I've had quite a few new subscribers lately, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, and all the new viewers, too, people that have been tuning into my channel. I really appreciate it, and thank you very much. Uh, so to get going, um, to begin, I'm going to open up the ones from eBay. Uh, so the first one I'm going to open is uh, this one here. Which, um, I'm not sure what it is. I mentioned before, um, when I order stuff, and uh, I order quite a bit, uh, Sometimes some stuff comes in faster than other stuff, so it doesn't always come in in order, so I'm not always sure what it is um, or which one has come in. Uh, this is one I've been waiting for quite a while. Um, I had a hard time finding this one. There we go. Alan Parsons, um, The Time Machine. It's one that it was harder to find, which is why I haven't picked it up before. And um, it's not one of my favorites from him, although it's grown on me over the years, which is why I decided to buy it. It has uh, the Time Machine Part 1 and Out of the Blue, Call Up, uh, some really good songs, those. Ignorance is Bliss, uh, Rubber Universe, Call the Wild, uh, No Future in the Past. Yeah. Far ago and long away. It's from 1999. And I find this one here um, sounds a bit more, uh, <clears throat> not, not so much your typical Alan Parsons sound. It, it sounds a bit more um, <clears throat> up to date type, type thing. Like, I don't want to say pop, but uh, it's got elements of uh, uh, pop areas here and there. Um, not, I don't want to say it sounds dated or not, but. Um, it's hard to explain. Uh, you'd have to listen to this album to uh, to know what I mean. It's um, it's a little different sound than some of his other albums. It sounds more modern than some of his other albums, uh, especially the keyboard and drum combination type thing. Uh, but still very enjoyable. Uh, yeah, so the Time Machine by Alan Parsons. Uh, the next one. I'll have to open up with the exacto knife because it's a uh, different type of plastic. There we go. We'll see what this one is. Just like Christmas opening up stuff. Oh. All this bubble wrap. All right, here we go. Yeah, this one's brand new. Which is a uh, level headed by Sweet. So I've been trying to finish my Sweet uh, collection. And uh, this is the one that features uh, Love is Like Oxygen. And it's really f hard to find that song, uh, the full version. Often you find that on Great Assistant, that where you find the, uh, the shortened version, the edited version. This is from 1978. This is a really good album um, by Sweet. Uh, really enjoyable. Uh, it's got two covers. Um, I'd rather the, uh, the UK cover than this one, but um, it's about the music, right? So, yeah, so I'm really happy to find this. I'll be playing this thereafter. It's got uh, Dream On. Of course, Love is Like Oxygen, the full version. Uh, California Nights is a good song. Uh, Fountain is also another good song that's on here. Silverbird. Yeah. It's got uh, a couple bonus tracks. It's got... Uh, Single version of Love is Like Oxygen. 
But uh, yeah, great band, sweet uh, glam rock from the seventies, and uh, yeah, and I love the later period of them, the, the later period of uh, sweet. So, so I'm happy to have that. So that's the ones from eBay, um, the ones from the thrift stores. Uh, the first one I'll be showing is uh, the the definitive collection by Nyford Man. Which, uh, this features uh, the earlier stuff. It doesn't feature much of their uh, 90s or late 80s stuff. It's got, um, why should we not? Uh, it's got different versions of, it's got a couple songs on here. It's on here twice. Uh, different versions of them. Like uh, Do Wa Diddy Diddy is a single version. And then there's the unedited version. Uh, Come Tomorrow, Shalala. Uh, I'm your kingpin. Uh, you gotta go, go now. Uh, scared of dying, machines. She needs company. The single version. Uh, you gave me some of the love. Single version. Yeah, so it's uh, it's a lot of their earlier stuff. I do have uh, greatest hits of their later stuff. So this is a good addition to uh, my collection. I couldn't pass that up for two bucks. Next is one I just actually listened to earlier, is uh, Them Crooked Vultures. The, um, the only album this band will put out. This is uh, Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters and uh, of Nirvana fame. Uh, great album. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, all the songs on here. Uh, Mind Eraser, No Chaser, New Fang, Dead End Friends. Uh, elephants, reptiles is good, gunmen, spinning and daffodils, uh, no one loves me, and neither do do I. This is from 2009, and uh, try and see what our members are on here. I know there's uh, a couple of the popular members on this CD. I know uh, Dave Grohl. Uh, sometimes it, they don't say the members. Uh, let's see. Yeah, John Paul Jones. That's the only one I was trying to think of. That's on here. And uh, Joshua Holm. So it's a three-piece band. Very much in the um, Foo Fighters type style. If you like the Foo Fighters, you'd like this. And uh, I'm not the biggest Foo Fighter fan. I don't mind them at all. But I'm not their biggest fan, but I did enjoy this one quite a bit. Next one I just actually finished playing is uh, Split Ends with uh, Second Thoughts. Pretty good. Very new wave, and it's actually a new wave with almost some, some type of jazz here and there I found on it. Uh, Late Last Night is really good, Walking Down the Road, uh, Lovey Dovey, Sweet Dreams, Stranger Than Fiction, uh, Time for a Change, The Woman Who Loves You. It's from 1975. This is a 1992 reissue on the Mid-Price Masters, it's called. But, uh, really enjoyable. Um, yeah, so like I said, kind of new way, but it's got elements of kind of jazz here and there. A little bit hard to explain the style, but uh, I did enjoy it. I didn't uh, recognize anything off of it, but uh, really enjoyable. Uh, next, uh, the Partland Brothers, Between Worlds. This is a duo from Canada. Um, this is a great album. Uh, Can You Love Me, Maybe One Day, Honest Man, Untouched. Sunset Line, Too Quick to Judge is really good. Uh, nothing You Can Be, Brighter Days Ahead, Keep That Spirit High. Uh, this is from 1990. They had a really big hit, uh, Soul City. Uh, was their big, big hit, which is not on this, but uh, you might be uh, familiar with that song, Soul City. And uh, that's who uh, performed it, was the... Uh, Partland Brothers. Really enjoyable. Next, a little older here, is uh, Linda's Farn. 
16 classic tracks. Also really enjoyable if you like a folk rock type music. I enjoyed pretty much uh, all the songs on here. Uh, Meet Me on a Corner was really popular by them. So was uh, La Lady Eleanor. Uh, we Can Swing Together, Fog on the Tine, uh, Road to Kingdom Come, Scarecrow Song, uh, Clear White Light, January Song, Wake Up Little Sister, Together Forever. This one here is from 1989. I'm not sure the original release of this album, but um, really enjoyable. I say if you like a lot of that folk rock type stuff, you'll enjoy this. And the last CD I have today is uh, House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. Which is a compilation. Um, I do have another one of their um, compilation, but um, this one has a lot of different songs on it. It's got House of the Rising Sun, but it's got Howling I didn't have, uh, Night Fighter. Uh, San Francisco Nights, I already had it, but it's got Blast, Immer, Road, Buster, uh, To Love Somebody, Frisco Queen, When I Was Young, Love Fire, Pray Master, Stand Up, Gotta Get Out of This Place and Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. Uh, it's all, almost 60 minutes long. Yeah, so really enjoyable. I like some animals. They were a pretty good group back in the day. We're pretty happy to find this too. And the last one I'll be showing today, this video is a vinyl, uh, which I pretty much picked up from my wife. She's a big fan, but um, I do enjoy her music too. Uh, so this is uh, Luvia Noon John, Let Me Be There. My wife has quite a bit of her vinyl stuff. Um, so she can add this to, uh, to her collection. This on... Um, MCA records. Like I say it's in, it's it's in perfect shape. It's just dirty. It just needs to have a good cleaning. And um, so I was pretty happy to find that for her. I haven't played it yet. Um, so hopefully uh, it's all good. It looks good. So hopefully it doesn't have skips on it. But, uh, for the price, you know, I think I paid, what was it? Yeah, $3 for it. So, it's got a little bend here in the corner, but that's not a big deal. So, I was pretty happy to find that. My wife uh, likes to loot and do John, so. I hope you enjoyed the video on my CD haul. And, um, until next time, take care of yourselves.